Well, well, well. It's time for money. Money calling. Hold on, guys. I gotta take this one. That's that's the time it is. The money has been calling me, and I need to chase it. Or so I, I don't know where I'm going with this one, honestly. I'm just vibing. <laughs> How's it going? Hope you're having a, a good old good old time and all that. Hope, hope life's treating you all right, right? Hope you're having a good, good time. Good sleep and all that. Hope, uh... The fact that the sun goes down at 4 p.m. now doesn't have you too down. I mean, if you're on the Northern Hemisphere, which realistically, given my analytics and all that stuff, you probably are, uh, and all that, you know, yeah. Where's my shop, by the way? I, I mean, I, I, fuck, I'll fight the boss right now, why not? What's the worst that could happen? It's gurglings? Yo, lock up, let's go, bro. At least it's not like the super fast version of these guys, right? The super fast one, where they're like poopy or whatever, they, they are much worse. At least I can buy an item here, and it's going to be none of them a d1 maybe but like even that's not that exciting uh yeah i, I, don't, I don't know man I don't, I don't think there's anything to do here man I, don't, I think i'm i'd rather save my money like a d1 i don't think is worth it for 15 cents if i was granted it for less money maybe uh for free i would take it but nah nah it's it, like it's great on the final floor, but am I gonna carry it until that point? Or am I likely to encounter a different... I don't even have a key. Well, I guess I'll buy this then. Am I gonna encounter a different, you know, space item at some point that might do way more for me? Yeah, I think that's more likely, right? Oh, well, let's see what this pill is, I guess. Speed up. That's actually pretty huge. I appreciate it. Thank you, game. All right. And down we go to the next floor. Mm-hmm. This room is ass! This room is... Pure ass. Oh my god, it sucks. Thank you so much for allowing me to like get out of that. Thank you. There's my shop. All right. Yo, now this is a shop. Holy. Holy. I want everything in here. This is all very good. Gotta see how much money I can amass somehow because otherwise I'm in for a rough time. Also ambitious to go for the Diag there. Yes, I know, but it worked out, didn't it? I'm definitely going to be able to get anything from the deal, but I guess I'll fight the boss right now while I have the money. Maybe this boss item is even more exciting than anything the shop has to offer, right? I need to also try to collect as much money as I can here, but that's going to prove a little difficult, uh, especially if I just fucking run into the boss for no reason and take damage. <laughs> it's so over. Oh my god. How did I not get hit by that? This extra speed I got has been serving me so well in this fight. I can't get that coin. I... Fuck. I can't get that, man. I can't get that! This guy's got like a death zone around him. I can't get close to him. Okay, thank you at least. Okay, at least the boss item isn't all that. I gotta be choosy here. I can't really afford all that much. Um, let's get this first so I can go to my curse room. That strikes me as a decent idea. Matter of fact, it could also just be a secret room here, so... I guess I didn't need it for this floor, but oh well. I am also interested in what's in this arcade, however... I doubt I'll be able to play it all that much. That's the problem with it. I, I hate creep enemies, man. Yeah, I'm never gonna have the cash to buy anything else here unless I blow up my donor machine. Which at this point, I think I'm gonna have to. Because there's nothing else for me to be had here. Okay, well, I suppose I will have to live with that then. If I want to buy anything else, this has to be done. And out of the three items remaining that I could buy in the shop, I think the highest priority one definitely is tarot cloth. Because getting better cards is always phenomenal. Because of the last, well, that's annoying, but at least it's not the worst for a floor like this. You know, it's a small floor at least, so it's not that bad. That's just rude of you. I can't get that nickel now, that, that dime now. What the fuck, man? Give me that. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. I got it. <laughs> that was worth it. That was worth it to send myself. Why would I just run into that? No, 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 no. Don't do this. Don't do this. Why am I playing like on, on, on edge today, man? I am being so cheeky with it. There's a tinted rock up here. I mean... Okay, that's a shit ton of bombs. All right, I mean, I won't complain. There's another horrendous room where I will never be able to grab a single coin that gets created. That is an incredible trinket, holy shit. <laughs> holy, I'm very happy to see this one. That's likely to keep me safe going forward. Very much so, very much so. Where the fuck am I going? This is the boss. Where's my shop at, bro? Where the fuck is my shop? Oh my god, I'm getting... I got so much cash this floor. The game is making up for what it's done to me on the past floors. By giving me all the cash now for some reason. Ah, sure, I'll take that. That's good to have. No deal means no uh, money to be spent on it, which is fine by me. You think there's a secret room right here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Chaos. Jesus. I probably want to buy that before I even go to the shop. Should have probably bought it before even going in here, but you know what? This is worth it. Please die. Thank you. Give me that. Oh god. <laughs> Whew. 
I'm living on the fucking edge here, you know. I'm taking this uh, chaos immediately. All right, another lockup, pretty good though. There's the fucking shop. Took long enough for you to show up. Okay, well, I mean, I don't know if chaos really does much from keeper shops anyway. Now that I think about it, <laughs> now that I think about it, even like remotely, I don't know if chaos matters at all for keeper shops. But hey, mom's pad is certainly not what I was looking for. <laughs> Chaos is uh, currently not really paying its dividends all that well. I really wish it did a little bit more, but I suppose that's wishful thinking, as I call it in the business. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye to the people that loved me. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye, goodbye, everybody. Anybody remember that one? Now, that, is a, that is an unbelievably ancient reference that most people will probably not know. That's how you know I'm old school. <laughs> The only thing keeping this run in it right now is the, the quad shot, because my damage is not good for dealing with these guys. I got default tier rate, default damage that Keeper starts with. The only thing I've gotten that could remotely be considered a damage upgrade is Blood Clot. Aye, aye, aye. I gotta find something to spend my cash on ASAP, because it's not looking that hot right now. Holy shit. These motherfuckers get me every time, dude. Jesus Christ. Please be my shop. Wow, that's a lot of money just waiting for me. Holy shit. And I knew that would get the f uh, false cat gold, whatever it's called as well. I didn't have to take all that money, by the way. Okay, item room and shop. Name of the shop is the interesting part here, because I don't think I'm getting a planetarium this floor. <laughs> so, yet anyway. Love the luck up. Oh my goodness gracious. This is everything I could have ever asked for. Literally. It's everything I could have ever wanted. Holy. Do I want Bomber Boy as well? I don't need bombs that badly. Yet, anyway. Cricket's head. A damage and it tears up as well on top of it. We are so back, bros. Things were looking dire for a minute, but nah, we're good now. Nothing to worry about anymore at all. Let's fight the boss. It's clutch. I'm not afraid of you as much anymore. <laughs> that being said, I do have to hit my shots, which is the hard part. Because unless I do, you are being annoying. Can you stop swapping bodies, please? Owie! Thank you, Swallow Penny. Jesus Christ, bro. At least let me kill them, right? Get out of your body. Let me throw a fucking bomb in there as well. It didn't do anything. I fucking butchered that one so hard. That was horrendously bad. I like that this one is stuck by, like behind the mushrooms over here. I want these guys as spread out as possible. I don't want them running me down. Yes, now he's gonna kill the boners, which is good for me. Because that allows me to kill him. Oh, let's go. Okay. That wasn't actually all that bad. There's an angel deal. Obviously, it's not gonna have an angel item, but red key is totally good as well. I'm happy with that. He's gotta kill this angel now, um, because I want my key pieces, because you never know. Let's check down here. Okay, wishful thinking, I guess. Uh, were there any charges for sale in the shop? I will buy him, if there, if there were, I mean. I got money to spare. I might as well check for, like, you know, ultra secret rooms or something like that. There is. You know what? You know what? Hold on. I can also use this to look for my secret room. For instance, uh, there's no thing there, so... Oh, well, maybe I should have looked about this smarter. I don't know why it couldn't be there, actually. I don't know. I know why it couldn't be there. You think it's here? That seems very fair. My guess is that it could be here. Hey, hey! My guess was adequate. It doesn't matter because it's not going to be a red room item, but it's just going to be an item. And Dark Bomb does nothing for me, unfortunately. Oh well. I'm still not going to my item rooms, though. Actually, no, why am I going for planetariums? I got chaos anyway. Right, why wouldn't I go into my item room now that I think about it? There's no point in going for planetariums anymore. I, I got chaos. For once I remembered. Give me the mystery item. Okay, yeah, that's incredible. Holy shit. I need an extra life now, uh, much more an extra HP, but still, holy, <laughs> I can't possibly be upset about that. Can't wait to die copious amounts of times. Oh, there's the planetarium. The planetarium in question has dead tooth. Ah, ew, nasty, disgusting, evil. What do we have here? M Mom's coming for us. Maybe a health up pill will be amongst these. We gotta fight for it for now, which is the worst part about it, having to fight for it. Yikes. Speed down, great. I shouldn't be using these in mid-fight, but I'm, I'm ambitious. Hematomesis? Doesn't matter. Paralysis? This is exactly what I wanted to avoid! <laughs> well, look, that's what Nine Lives is for. Honestly, it saved me a lot of time by just dying there. They love putting ultra secret rooms adjacent to these challenge rooms. Okay, well, because challenge rooms tend to be terminates, ter terminals and stuff like that, so it, it makes... I'm farming money by doing this. It makes sense. It was, it was all for the uh, Swallow Penny. I just cannot afford to get hit for a while. Uh, 
I should really be playing it cool, man. Just pretend you're playing Tainted Loss, except you don't have the Flight or the Spectral Tears or, you know, any of the other shit that actually makes them good, at least. You're- you're grounded. I did to get to myself. I, uh, another... Fuck. <laughs> another red key charge. This room is hell, bro. Okay, I got to the shop. God damn it, it's greed. All of this work just to get a greed fight? I spent a life going down here. I... I don't know how to deal with these guys, man. These guys are fucking getting me twisted up. <laughs> Can I stop sucking ass, please? Holy! Please die! Please die! I beg of you, thank you! Charge me? You didn't charge me, okay. God damn it, these items are trash. Oh, that's HP. I can live, actually. Okay, I can- Hey, I can at least, like, get hit now without dying instantly, so... <laughs> That's a- that's a bonus, right? That's a- that's a good thing. I... think... it could actually be, like, right here. Uh, it's a bedroom. I mean, that's something. It's a dirty one, unfortunately, but... Not what I was hoping for. Oh, well. Eh, it could be many places, I guess. Can't believe this isn't Gideon, which means it's probably the pile or clutch. Oh, not clutch. Singe. Backstabber is absolutely worth taking. Let's blow this open. It's basically the permanent money I need to open this, and oh boy. A golden penny out of my swallowed penny? Well, don't mind if I do. Can't believe I've already spent five of my nine lives, man. What the hell? A library? Sure, it's gonna be anything random. Holy shit! Yes, money equals power is absolutely worth it. In most ways, I would argue. I also think I should immediately check for a red room up here. Okay, well, can't win them all. Secret room is obviously right here. This is such an obvious layout. That's another incredible trinket. I need to gulp my trinkets here, man. This is... I got two amazing trinkets available to me right now. Owie. Don't die, don't die, don't die. <laughs> That's another decent trinket as well. Uh, let's see what we got. Sprinkler. I mean, it's I- it's I- But, you know, I'm not- I'm not taking it. Uh, let's check up here. It's a sack room. I mean... It's not a terrible idea, necessarily. There's a shop, though. That's what I was hoping to find. Sooner rather than later. Alright. Ooh. Another incredible trinket as well, with, a uh, crystal key. You're gonna just give me some solar? It's not even worth it, man, but I got nothing else to spend cash on anyway. Uh, I don't know where the fuck it could be, man. There's so many places. Over here? Oh my god. That was pure guesswork. I didn't even have anything to go off of this. I, I just guessed and it worked out. Another item for me. Some homing bombs. Don't mind if I do. It's definitely worth it. That's just a spin down dice. <laughs> um... Okay, sure, yeah, give me that, why not? What's the spin down into again? Spirit Sword. A very tempting offer, isn't it? I can't, I can't, I, I shouldn't. Um, my, my, my wrist has been a bit iffy lately. I would rather, you know, preserve it instead of ruin it. What do you turn into? Stopwatch. Holy shit. I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know Tiny Planet has such a crazy good spin down. Matter of fact, I'll take options as well because why not? Curse of the blind. Lovely. Oh, two blind items. Cool. That's good. I should have spun it down, but if I'd known that it was that, I would have spun it down. However, it's blind, so I wouldn't have known. Now I can't get Sacred Heart out of it. Oh, well. You know what's funny to me, by the way? I've made this realization that, like, how come some hobbies... I wouldn't necessarily call them obsessions, but, like, just how some things that people like or enjoy or, you know, that, that do as hobbies are un pretty much unanimously considered to be, like, you know... Autistic. They're, they're like associated with autism or something like that. Like think of it, right? Trains. Pretty much unanimously. If somebody likes trains, you're like, oh, this guy's autistic. Whether it be real trains, model trains, anything like that, right? A lot of people who aren't in the military are obsessed with like, you know, military stuff like tanks and like the machines and stuff. They're not necessarily obsessed with war, but you know, again, unanimously considered a, a sign of uh, maybe being on the spectrum. Certain types of video game genres, you know? Strategy games, especially strategy games of some kind, or, you know, like something like Factorio, like a base builder like that. Very, or anything that I like, guess very number heavy, very heavily associated with perhaps being on the spectrum, which I find curious as well. There's another one I had uh, in, in my mind as well the other day when I when I was thinking about this, like, oh yeah, there's a, just a few hobbies that are associated with that. Car stuff, I guess, to an extent, a little bit. Not as much though, I think cars, cars are considered more normal. <laughs> For a lot of people. It's not it's not uh, too much of something that's autistic, necessarily. Autism coded. Is that a good way of putting it? How come, right? I mean, part of it maybe is just that 
people who are on the spectrum are more likely to enjoy these things. Sure. But I do find it funny how, you know, some things are just pretty much by everybody. Like, you know that one artist who's, like, really into trains. Or that one guy who's, like, really into, like, Sid Meier's Civ games or something like that, right? And it kind of is like a... Like, as much as I say, like, oh, yeah, it's just, it's just like, you know, stereotypical or whatever. But, like, yeah, stereotypes kind of tend to be true. And in this case, I, I wouldn't doubt it, right? A lot of people I know that are on the spectrum do like some of these things. <laughs> In some ways, they love their strategy games. They love their, you know, trains or stuff like that. Ah, yes, I don't know what these items are, so I'll just buy them. I might as well. I might as well spend my money on something. Voodoo head. A bit late, but sure. What's this been down into? Bad PhD? Ah, what about Vade Retro or Cube Baby afterwards? I mean, if I can get another full charge, sure. That's Vade Retro, so Cube Baby comes after that. I mean, I might as well pick it up so it doesn't show up again, right? That's false PhD! <laughs> I forgot the step of the false PhD. I will gladly take a speed down for damage though, that's fine. I might as well buy a charge. There's no way I'm getting another full charge on this floor. I highly doubt it. I am not a believer in the idea that there could be a another full charge worth of uh, rooms for me to do here. But yeah, how come, right? How come, like... I mean, I I, I ain't no psych psychologist. I don't, I don't know what being on the spectrum is like or how it works or anything like that, right? So obviously, I don't know why people on the spectrum tend to prefer certain hobbies over other hobbies, right? How, how, how come, like, some hobbies are just so heavily associated with the tism? I think it really is just something about it. Like, I'm, I'm trying to, like, basically connect, like, what do all of these things have in common? Is what I'm trying to, like, connect here, right? If I'm, if I'm talking, like, how come a lot of these hobbies are not exclusively enjoyed by autistic people, but are more likely to be enjoyed by autistic people, you know, like, I'm trying to trying to think in my head, like, what's the common thread that connects all of these things? I don't have bombs? I don't have bombs?! Where'd all my bombs go, bro? Ah, oh, fuck. What'd I use them for? Well, I guess I'm going down to next floor. <laughs> no second key piece for me, I suppose. Woe is me. And you're immediately hitting me with a prayer card. I will spend my money on this, even if it means I lose damage. Wow. Okay, I think using this will do nothing. Yeah, okay, but I can turn it into a guppy item, which is better than nothing. Because now I'm guppy! Because <laughs> now I'm guppy. I have a spin down available, so you know what? Let's go for some more plays on this. It's 10 more plays, I mean, two items to pay out in 10. That's possible. It's plausible, even. Okay. Wow. I need bombs, to be fair, so there you go. I don't want bomb friend, but uh, I guess I wouldn't mind another syringe. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Chaos finally paying some dividends. Oh my god, the damage is kind of crazy. And the flies are doing a lot of work here as well, to be fair. Ah, you know what? I've got some cash right now. Conjoin piece wouldn't hurt. Hey, let's go. Considering his spin downs aren't all that good, Lil Loki gets to be part of my squad today. I do think I want another charge here for that. Spin onto the syringe though, because I'm pretty sure I am close to spawn. If I get that, I should get it, so that'd be nice. Boom. Should be spun. It makes up for all the speed down pills I took as well. I'm actually surprised I have not gotten a single range upgrade all run. I guess I can take this range down now, though. Because with Tech X, it doesn't matter. That's true. That's just more damage for me. With Tech X, your range literally doesn't matter. It, it's the entire room. Spider mod. Gladly take that. Um, it does spin out to Chaos, but I already have Chaos, so... Yeah. Uh, for whatever. I'm not gonna look for my secret rooms. There's a sack room. If only I left some permanent money around, man. Ah. Uh, oh, well. Holy shit. Look at that damage. I still got another Angel Deal anyway. I have the coinage and by coinage i mean the bombage to blow these guys up easily holy shit one of them's already dead that was quick um i can take one of these spin down the other one into death's touch might as well right it's more damage what's this challenge room got for me uh a pact which is pretty nice i'll grab that in a second i don't want to do it mid fight because it's going to stop me from fighting <laughs> which i don't think is actually all that necessary considering how absurdly much damage i'm really doing but yeah Turns out, taking false PhD was actually like a good idea. It, it turned out to be quite the play. Alright, Satan. This is going to be a quick affair, I think. Matter of fact, I'm gonna let my flies do a lot of the work here for this first phase, because I don't want to waste my, my shot. It's gonna take too long to charge. I'd rather have this shot kill phase too. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much instantly. Also, it th turns out the charge time is so fast that it doesn't actually matter. It actually does not matter at all. He's dead in one shot, by the way. Thank god for those shot speed downgrades I took, because those have been unbelievably helpful in this. Okay, Curse of the Blind again. Lovely, I love this game. I, I love the curses that I get 
The D6, okay, that's incredible. Everything jar, well, at least it's an active that I can spin down. Cupid's arrow does nothing for me. Jar turns into Keeper's box, which is cool, I guess. It's another charge. Once Keeper's box turn into Keeper's kin, and then Keeper's sack down the line. Well, it's not like I need Keeper's sack at this point. It's not like I'm going to be buying anything going going forward, so it literally doesn't matter anymore. Boy, I sure hope that Curse of the Blind doesn't end up fucking me over here. It's already fucked me over because I don't get to use my fucking spin down dice. To its fullest extent, which annoys the shit out of me. Ah, extra vision is nice, excuse me. My secret room is up here? Okay, it's the secret room with two chests. I'm a moron, oh my god, I'm so stupid. <laughs> to be fair, I forgot about Bomber Boy there. Odd mushroom, see, it's already fucked me over. What are you? Fortune cookie, cool. What do you turn into when I spin you down? Sulfur, okay. At least I keep getting items. Sagittarius, another piercing item. That's the third one I've gotten this run. Now I'm just missing, um, dead onion, and I think I've got all of them. Might as well spin this down, grab sulfur, have it around. Maybe I'll use it, although mucomycosis would be great to have. What are you? Red candle. What do you turn into? Box of spiders. Okay. Never mind. I don't care. Another item. For my troubles. Diplopia. What do you turn into anyway? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Ah, uh, Diplopia is interesting, but what am I gonna Diplo? Wait, actually, I got a great idea. If I can get the charges for this, is ah, wait, no. I need a room with two pedestals, and then I can pull this off. Because I know, I, I mean, I also need charges. Because I know that spinning down, spinning down Sulfur turns it into Mucomycosis, but it needs two spin downs. So either I need to get two full charges on the spin down dice, or I need to somehow put Sulfur and spin down dice in the same room. So I, so I can diplo them and then get an extra charge out of that, you know, that works as well. Holy! What the fuck? Okay, uh, I need deep pockets for that one, Jesus, what the fuck? I guess for the time being I'll just do another set of rooms here. The most fucked up thing is I don't know if I'll ever get anything worth diploing. Range down. Fine by me. More damage. What are you? Ocular Rift, that's fine. I'm wasting charges, by the way. I know, but, ah, fuck. I don't think I'm going for that play anyway. Yeah. Last fly. Actually decent. Keep giving me chests, man. Pentagram. Fine by me. Gets me Leviathan. Range up. <laughs> Yay. Really necessary, that one. Appreciate it. Technology. You know what? That basically means I don't need Sulfur anymore. Because <laughs> it does what Sulfur would have done. It gives me the fatter rings. I know it's only visual. It doesn't have the damage bonus it carries, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm actually just gonna go fight Mega Satan like this. I don't care. Fuck it. Let's annihilate this guy, right? I don't know. Yeah, I, I just realized I don't even know if Parasite works on this run. I don't know if it does anything with Tech X. It may very well not. It may very well have no effect at all. I don't think there's any tear splitting off as I'm hitting stuff or whatever, but you know. This is an insane fight, by the way. <laughs> are you seeing the pace at which I'm disposing of all of my enemies right now? These guys are being dispatched in record speed. Holy! And it's like such a simple, not non-flashy synergy as well. It's just a ton of damage and Tech X on quad shot. And that's all it takes sometimes. Look at his HP just melting away. Guppy helps a lot here as well. Ocular Rift is keeping me safe. And he's dead. Just like that. Just that easy, you know? It's just that easy sometimes. And no Void this time either. I was kind of hoping for it, but oh well. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. I get to uh, stop playing the game sooner and uh, go do other stuff, which is also fine by me. I'm not like this is a chore or anything. It is fun, but at the end of the day, I got other things to do as well, like I gotta go work out. So uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow or something like that. I, I, did I just say I'll, you guys? What is wrong with me? No, no, I can't, no. My entire identity is based around the fact that I'm not supposed to be parasocial. I just did the cardinal sin of a YouTube Let's Player from 2012. What's wrong with me? Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow, I suppose. Have, b bye.